This is my new Raypack Crosswind 65i. They make them in three models. They're two models smaller than this one. It's uh, this time in July 2021. There's no reviews really to find online. So I figured I'll make a, a short video and show how I installed it and uh, how it works out for me. It wasn't too heavy to get in here. It's around 70 pounds. And it's actually pretty easy to install. See, this is where the water comes in. They pump into the filter out from the filter and then it goes into the inlet to the uh, to the pool heat pump and the warm water come out there and uh, there I have a check valve the manual asks you to put a check valve in so because between the heater and the chlorinator so when um, you turn the whole thing off you won't get chlorinated water sitting inside running backwards and sitting inside of the of the heater so it's installed after the filter and before the chlorinator the breaker size it's in 220 volt. The breaker size is, it says minimum 20 and max 25. I installed a 20 amps um, GFCI. It doesn't mention specifically GFCI, but uh, I thought, why not? Can't hurt, right? So here's the display. Let me see if I can capture it here. Um, the top number, 88, that's a, that's the temperature we have, we want in our pool. That's a, that's what we have set it to. And the top number, 88, is the water flowing in. That's the temperature of the water flowing in. So right now we have 88 in our pool. The lower number is the water coming out from the heater right down here. you'll see a little sun that indicates that it heats or it's set to heat. It can do, uh, and it runs on 58%, 60% now, you can see, I think it just started up now. Sounds like a little jet engine here. It's actually very quiet. And when you sit on this side of it, oh man, that's my favorite summer spot because that's, that's, that's ice cold air coming out here. Anyway, back to the display. So, this indicate that it's heating. It's heating at 81% now. And, what else can I say? Um, it has three settings. You do that by the on off button, it's, it's kind of like a screen lock here. You can hold it. And then you can switch between, see? Now it's set to cool only. So if the temperature came over 88 degrees that I have put it on, then it would start to cool it down to 86. I, oh, one more and it goes to heat and cool. So whenever it gets below 88, it will heat it up to 88. If it accidentally get above 88, it will cool it down to 88. I use it on heat only. Because since we had our pool screen in, it takes quite a bit of the sun. Uh, uh, cooling really isn't a problem. It haven't been yet. Like I said, this is July. <coughs> sorry. This is July 2021 in Central Florida. And the temperature outside is what is it? 
probably 85 right now I would say yeah anyway after a few minutes and you haven't used any of the whole thing here then uh, any any settings then we go back to the lock mode this is where it is now see the setting is 88 and it falls back so you can hear that it's actually very quiet I'm gonna turn it off right now because this is my this is my pool pump here, an old one, an old single speed pool pump, and it makes a lot of noise. I don't think it have much time left. Once I get, um, once it dies, I'm gonna put in a variable speed, and I'm gonna run the whole system on a lower speed, lower uh, um, RPM here, and then run it longer, so I have longer time to 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 heat the water. Now I stop the pool pump here, and this one detects if the water is running or not. So when the water stopped circulating, then it will turn off by itself. And when the pool starts again, then it also turn off, or turn, turn on again. I have this hooked up to a pool, a 20,000 20, gallon pool. right in here and as I said my temperature now is 88 when I first hooked it up the pool temperature was 80 degrees and it went up to 86 that's what I set it to immediately 86 overnight but for now I'm very happy with the performance it, it goes up pretty fast the temperature but um, we have fall and a winter and a spring coming, so let's see how we're gonna handle that. And I'll probably make a new video. I only have this one for maybe a month, or so and I'll make a new window, a new uh, new video after the winter and, and uh, show you guys how it performed. So uh, please down here subscribe. And like this video if you like and uh, if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comment below and I'll get to them as soon as I can.